What's up, everybody? And today, um, I want to do my 2016 favorites. This is the first time I have ever done this. So, uh, I'm new to this. And so, if I mess up, sorry about that. But, shall we get started? Okay, so, I'm going to do my shower stuff. Whenever I'm in the shower, I wash my face with this, even though it says morning fresh, I don't use it for the mornings. I use it for the shower, and it's a facial clean, cleanser, cleanser, and it's oil-free, and it moisturizes my face, because I have these bumps on my face. I don't know what they are. And I, so I use this in the sh every time I'm in the shower, and it helps, kind of, even though I still have these. Um, for my hair, to, cause I use these Garnier Fructis condition, shampoo and conditioner, and it makes my hair really soft, and um, it doesn't make my hair so natty. Whenever I wake up in the morning and I have to brush my hair, it doesn't make my hair so natty. And for frizzy, dry, unmanageable hair, and this is really good. It has Oregon oil from Mor Morocco and apricot. So this is really good. I love this. The next thing... Um, Whenever I get out of the shower and I dry my I dry my body off, then I put this moisturizing lotion on for dry skin relief because sometimes I get dry skin and this helps really good. I will like this. Sorry about that. It smells good and it helps a lot. Then whenever I get dressed, and well, I usually brush my teeth after I put the lotion on, and then, uh, then I get dressed, and then that's whenever I do my hair. And after I get done brushing it and everything, then I put in this leave-in conditioning cream it's Garnier Fructis, so it helps with my nattiness that I have every morning. And it works really good. Now I'm going to go to my face. First, I, uh, after I get my face all wet and everything, um, I put this on which is a, a ST Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. And it kind of helps with my face, but not that much. And it kind of smells fresh. And I love the smell of fresh, but it doesn't, it kind of smells like apricots too. It doesn't smell that fresh though. After I am done with that, I put on this acne-free, clean, clean, clear skin treatments, oil-free, purifying cleanser, and this kind of helps too. If I can get this without the light shining on it. Ah, uh, there we go. So I use this after I am done putting this on. And after I'm done putting this on, then I scrub my face and then I put this acne free clear skin treatments on. And then and then after I'm done putting this on, then I put on this Olay Night of Olay Firming Cream. It I'm almost out as you can see and this actually works 
I can get a shot of this without the light going on it. There we go. So this is what it looks like. I'm almost out. And it smells like... It smells fresh, too. Now, and I put all these th three things on in the morning and at night. And... I try to do it every day and not every morning and night, but I'm always sorry about that. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I I try to use these stuff in the morning and night, but I'm always forgetting because I'm always busy on my phone and everything, and so and usually. It comes around 9 o'clock or 8, and I don't really have enough time to do all this because it takes a while because I have to scrub really good, especially on my cheeks. So, yeah. Next is after I get done, to, uh, like, usually whenever I'm getting ready to go somewhere or something, and I want to spoke nice and not dirty. Um, I'm almost out of this, but I got this for my birthday in March, and it is a Beth, Bethany Moda perfume, and it smells interesting. It's like vanilla, but fruity. It smells interesting. I really like this. I am literally like almost out of it, as you can see. And after you're done with it, they have these like little keychains that you can put on your keychain or something. And then I put this almost like five times a day. Um, it is a Carmex Cherry Lip Balm because my lips get chapped. And then I start to chew on my lips. And it smells good actually. And it's almost out. Because it has that regular Carmax, Carmax in it and cherry in it. Now the last two things are like warm, homing, smelling thingy. They make your home smell really good. The first one, they're candles. The first one is a kiwi strawberry. And as you can tell, I am almost out it smells amazing it smells like kiwi but more as in strawberry it smells <sighs> smells so good as you can see i'm almost out and you i like everyday home but the bad thing about it is that it doesn't last very long I like Yankee candles because they last longer, but it's expensive though. And these are only like five dollars at Family Dollar or Dollar General. And it's upside down, but it's kiwi strawberry and it smells amazing. Now the last one, which is another candle, which is an everyday home and is cotton candy, watermelon slice, and strawberry licorice. Now this smells amazing too. I love this smell. And we I got these at the same time and I'm not even almost done with this because I haven't used it that much. So yeah, I've used this more because it's really good too but i like this one too but i don't really like fruity smells i like like this one or like pumpkin spice or wintry and stuff like that but it's summertime and gotta go with this and this is what it like there's like some pieces around it but i'm pretty sure it will get down to that and it's amazing. I love it. So, 
those are my 2016 favorites. And um, again, it's my first time doing this, so sorry if I like mess up or anything. So yeah. Don't, and if you like this, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And, yeah. And also, don't comment for more, and also comment for more videos. Bye!